This video contains strong language from the outset and throughout. If you easily take offence. Piss off! Alex Ferguson, Walter Smith, George Graham, Kenny Dalgleish, <laughs> David Moyes? These are just some of the greatest football managers to hail from Scotland. But is there a new hero? We will find out in Gordon Ramsay's Football Clubs from Hell. Scotland, home of the brave, haggis and kilts, but also the home of our protagonist. Located under five miles from its home club, Rangers, is the oldest club in Scotland, Queen's Park. A club once at the top of Scottish football, recent times have seen them struggling in the lower leagues, but they have a new hope. After ending their 152 year amateur status, the club now enter a new era and they have a new man in charge. Will Chef Ramsay bring back their glory days, or will he struggle to adapt from restaurateur to football manager? One thing can be for certain, at least the food will be good. Welcome to the story of Gordon Ramsay's football manager career in this new look journeyman save. Tasked with using his managerial experience and fiery characteristics, can his previous success translate onto the football pitch? Gordon's first opportunity comes close to home as he has taken over local rivals Queen's Park FC. Chairman Jerry Crawley welcomes us to the club with open arms and giving us some more information on the club's history. A team report has been provided suggesting our best 11 and that we line up with a 4-1-3-2 formation. Now I know you know the club inside out Jerry, but this is Gordon Ramsay, it will do it his way. It doesn't seem Jerry was listening when we sat down to agree the contract. Did Gordon not make himself clear? This is a journeyman save. We will only be at the club for one season, so the only thing he should be concerned for is this season's vision, where Jerry has highlighted that a minimum expectation is a playoff spot. As mentioned in the rules for this save, all responsibilities must be delegated to other people at the club. All Gordon needs to concentrate on in this save is training, picking the team and handling the media. After all, he is a celebrity. Another rule of the save is that Gordon can only bring in players and staff which he has previously worked with. As this is his first club, it means there will be no additions this season. This means he will have to make the best of what he has and some of the talented players in the under 21s and under 18s are quickly promoted to the first team. Will he find any hidden gems? Gordon sits down with his assistant manager Laurie Ellis for a coffee and to look into his team's strengths and weaknesses, to analyse each player and to discuss how they were going to take the club forward. First place to start, this coffee is shit. Overall, the team seem well rounded and there are some decent players at the club. Positives to Gordon are that most of the players are technically good and can pass a football but they also possess some of their gaffer's top traits of high determination and work rate. Despite these positives, the team lack depth, particularly in the fullback area, and improvements are needed in terms of crossing and speed. Lots to work on, I'm sure, but how will this Queen Park side line up under Chef Ramsay? Um, well, this formation is um, different. Does he know what he's doing? They seem to have decided on a very random 3-4-2-1 formation with Gordon confirming that this is to get the best out of every player and really suits what I've seen in training so far. Only time will tell if he is out of his depth or if this really is a Ramsey masterclass. The obligatory press conference is up next as the press get their first glimpses of Queen's Park's new man. An air of anticipation fills the room and the man did not disappoint, citing he felt the club had tremendous potential and confirming he would be neither a suit or a tracksuit manager, saying, I only wear my chef whites. He finished the press conference by confirming he would be the man to get Queen's Park promoted this year. Is this achievable though? Let's start by looking at the rules for League 2. Automatic promotion goes to the league winners, the next three teams then go into a playoff and are joined by the second bottom team in League 1. The winner of this playoff gets to play League 1 football next season. So have Queen's Park got a strong enough squad to reach these ambitions? As mentioned, they do have some decent players, 
and ones to watch out for this year include Stuart Morrison, Adam King, Peter Grant and Craig Slater. After a decent start to pre-season, scoring 16 goals in four games and only conceding one, was Ramsey's formation working? This was really put to the test in his next few games, marking Gordon's first competitive match as a manager against Clyde in the Betfred Club. Can he get off to a great start by getting victory against this League One side? He can indeed. And with the sides level at 1-1, with not long left to go, Queen's Park won a penalty and Billy Mortimer calmly slotted the ball home. Confidence seemed high going into their next game, another of four Betfred Cup games, but this time against Premiership opposition. Despite a solid performance against Motherwell, they were undone with just 10 minutes remaining, and despite a double save from Cami Bell, Mikhail Dunjuli tucked away the only goal of the game. Another decent performance followed as Queen's Park managed to secure a 1-1 draw with Stranra. A penalty shootout would decide this despite it being a group stage game, and Victoria scored the deciding penalty after Alfie Aguiman missed his. This meant a victory was needed in their final group game against Morton, but unfortunately they just lacked that last bit of quality and a Reese Leon goal meant that although unlikely, Ramsey would not be winning the Betfred Cup this year. Ah, oh, who loves these? Obviously they do in Scotland because our next game is against Kilmarnock Reserves in the first round of the Tunnock's Caramel Wafer Challenge Cup. Another valiant display from the Spiders, that's our nickname by the way, and yet another game settled by a penalty shootout. Despite finishing the game with 10 men after a 1-1 draw, Calvin McGrory grabbed the decisive spot kick to send Queen's Park into the next round. So what can we take from what we have seen so far? Gordon seems to have set the team up to be solid and hard to beat, and I'm really impressed considering all the games were against high opposition. They do need to do better on the ball and need to create more chances, but I'm sure Gordon has already had them working on that in training before their first league game against Annan, coming next. Despite the media predicting the club will be fighting a relegation battle this season, Gordon is confident and is particularly pleased with club captain Peter Grant. So can Gordon's team exceed expectations and start with a win? Starting with their normal formation, their team line up with Belling goal, Morrison, Grant and Doig at the back, Slater and King in the middle and Gal and McLean on the wings. Billy Mortimer leads the line with Perdue and Ledoran close behind. A passionate pre-match team talk is given by Gordon stating the club are favourites for the game, you can win this one. 45 minutes later. Well Gordon's speech didn't seem to motivate the team in that first half and half time breaks up a very quiet game so far. Hopefully the second half will make up for that. It seemed that Gordon's angry half-time team look brought some life into to Queen's Park in the game, but despite dominating possession stats, um, they failed to create anything, and they were punished in the 77th minute when Watson scored from a cute angle for Annan. Moments later, Annan had doubled their lead. In search of an equaliser, Queen's Park pushed forward, allowing Scott McLean to score the decider on the counter-attack. So Gordon's first game did not finish as planned, and Queen's Park lose out 2-0 to Annan. Will this be how Gordon's managerial career plays out, or can he turn it around? One thing for certain, Gordon is not happy. Listen, 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 listen. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Get out! No Queen's Park players were harmed during the making of this video.